Okay, hello everybody. Uh, this is a walkthrough of Big Beard Studios' new Echovox Dash X EVX Echovox X. Um, Echovox X is something I've been working on for a long time. Uh, it took a lot of uh, coding and custom work to make this whole thing possible. Uh, it wasn't easy, but I think it's running pretty good now. Um, it's vastly different from any other uh, version of Echovox, uh, be it EVR, Echovox Classic, EV3. It runs on the new Echovox engine, uh, modified, and it runs, uh, uses your uh, data connection, Wi-Fi connection, to uh, download from a list of um, radio stations and um, then scrambles them. Now, it, the reason the software is different um, than most other types of software is that it's not a sweeping ghost box uh, using IP radio. Um, as in, it doesn't you know load up, say, 10 or 20 streams or something, and then skip across them. Uh, what it does is it actually loads, if you go to menu, and you'll see here uh, about share record select record preferences radio stations privacy policy close app now radio stations is a simple text file of just random uh, long-running stations I could find where I wouldn't break their terms of service or anything like that and that we could use them and they're from all over the world, many different languages. But the best part is, is that you can click save and load, and you can put whatever freaking radio stations your little heart desires in there. So you click back. Uh, it's just a text file in the main directory, same place where you would do your uh, uh, reverb settings. Now, I'm not going to cover in this video Echovox basics. Um, your best bet if you're new to Echovox is you can get into this, join the Echovox user group on Facebook called Echovox Users. Uh, it's got about 3,000 people in there. You can get all the help you need, all the questions answered that you have. Um, what else here? Let's see. Okay. Here we have, uh, I'll just get right into it basically, A, B, C, D banks. Four banks, um, same sort of blend. Uh, idea that you'd have on uh, Echovox, meaning that this these four channels are going to, instead of linear, uh, use a, a linear sweep across a bunch of IP stations, what it does is it actually works like a sampler, much like a music sampler, um, to sample bits, random uh, chunks from these different stations at different intervals. So it's not scanning at 25 milliseconds or something like that. It's all different up to about a second worth of audio from each station and then it's going to randomly chop them between those two and then you can blend so it's kind of like having four ghost boxes in one that you can mix between and they're always changing now you don't have to have an internet connection and uh, Wi-Fi at your place if you're using this on a paranormal investigation or something somebody's using a meter you don't want your phone to interfere what you would do is you would build your banks which we'll get into quickly and uh, then you would just hit the, you could save it, and you're al you can s allow it in the software to save in the RAM one bank. So you can make your bank with your Wi-Fi or your, your data at the hotel or your house or whatever, and then you can head off to wherever it is that you're going, Lizzie Borden House or Penhurst or whatever, and uh, put your phone in uh, or your tablet into airplane mode, and just go ahead and run this, and you won't be uh, interfering with uh, fancy gadgets and such. Um, so, uh, left-hand menu, speed and echo, which are your uh, normal kind of uh, style echo vox, uh, channel speed and echo control. Blend and playback is, is like a right slider on echo vox. It has your uh, shuffle and all that. And uh, I'm actually, while I'm here, I'm going to turn shuffle on and show you guys how that looks. So you can see it's shuffling randomly between our four boxes and every time it blinks that's when it's playing a sound. Um, there's no sounds yet. And we'll get into that. You have your reverb settings which I just showed you and the menu which I showed you already. So we're moving right along. 
and uh, you don't see the typical start button as you used to seeing in Echovox. If you want it, you can just click the little arrow at the bottom. You have store, restore, and clear. And they do exactly what they say. You hit start, and you're going to see four little rectangles in each corner of the background X start to grow. As they grow, that means they're filling up the bank, A, B, C, D. And um, they never fill all the way. They always resample. So the longer you stay uh, connected to data, you'll keep pulling down new samples. It'll never stop. So I'm going to hit start. Uh, I have no echo on. I just want to show you how the banks work. And you'll see it doesn't start right away. So don't worry. It is working. Okay. Um, and you'll see these orange rectangles here, they start to build. And now you can hear the... Uh, this is running pretty much full speed. Okay. No echo at all or anything like that. Now if I wanted to store this... Okay, now see I hit stop. It's still going to keep on sampling. Now, so if I want to save this, I can just simply hit store and I can name it, what the bank, whatever I want. Okay, and hit OK. Boom, saved it. When I want to restore the last bank, I hit restore. I pick my .exb file, which is Echovox Bank. It's .exv. Uh, .evr files are your reverb files, um, and that's pretty much how EVX works in a nutshell. Um, did you hear it one more time? So it's uh, uh, the same principle as uh, Echovox. Um, except for use instead of using random sounds and noise and phonetics and all that, uh, we're going to use a more traditional uh, means, which is uh, radio, and uh, even better yet, IP internet radio. Um, and some of those stations, I believe, are uh, are land stations that are also simultaneously broadcast. Um, so there is actually like static and, and everything every once in a while, but for the most part, it's very clean. Uh, use the echo. Play with the reverb. Come to Echovox user group on Facebook, and uh, it's a great group of people. Answer any questions you have. I'm in there to help um, as much as I can, and the, the admins are great, and the other users are great. Um, and hopefully, uh, as this progresses, you all can share your evidence with us there and share your sessions with us there. Um, if you have any questions, that's the place to go. Echovox users on Facebook. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for using Big Beard Studios. Shout out to all my friends and uh, wonderful family around the world. Love you all. And uh, thank you. I hope you enjoy the software. And I can't wait to see what you guys do with it.